Okay, so I showed you guys my bikes that I use for kind of adventure traveling. The KLR, the KTM. I've kind of showed this truck a few times, but never really in detail. So right now I got it all loaded up for going out for a few days. So I'd show you how it's set up. Um, it's a 2007 Ford Ranger. Uh, it's pretty much stock. A little bit of mod to the suspension, not much. So I'll show you how it's set up. I've got off-road tires on it and some different wheels. And then in the back, I just have this uh, toolbox. I got a little extra gas can here for five gallons of extra fuel. Um, in here I've got just uh, stuff for keeping the truck running and fixed on the trail. Just some uh, oil and tools, uh, things like that. Pretty common stuff. And then uh, here I got a jack. Um, these I just got. I haven't used them yet, but they're uh, traction boards. But the main reason I got them is it has the space for the jack right here to put in the deal there. So when you're in soft ground. And then, uh, I keep the spare tire on the top because it doesn't fit underneath anymore. Because this one's bigger than the stock one. And this is all our gear for camping and climbing and caving. There's nothing too special about it. I'll uh, show it all some other time. Um, I just have a little shovel there that I hardly never use. Um, I made this like uh, cover thing here. It's uh, made out of aluminum, so it's pretty light, and it uh, holds a tire and keeps my stuff secure under here. And then right here, I just got a water jug. There's a pack there. Um, this is an antenna for a radio. It's a 10 meter radio here, and then I got a VHF radio antenna there. I don't know if you can see it. It's dark. Um... The antenna is really long, so I got this thing that it clips on, so when I'm going down the highway it doesn't stick up 15 feet in the air, but then when I'm on the trail or in a camp, I just pull it out like that and it uh, kind of just flops around. So in the truck, uh, you can see there's some radios. I use a tablet for navigating. It's a Samsung S6 in a uh, waterproof, water resistant case. And on the back, it uses a ram mount to uh, hold it. So I epoxied the other end of the ram mount onto the back of this case where the kickstand for the case used to be. And it's really solid. Yeah, I just screwed into the dash here. Um, this top radio is kind of like a CB, but not. You need a license for it. It's a ham radio that's modified so it works as a CB and then also on the 10 meter frequencies. It does a sideband AM and FM. And on the bottom is a VHF radio, which is what most people use now. But there's still quite a few people with CBs running around. And I have a ham license, so I just got this uh, ham radio here. And it's pretty cool. I can hear stuff from all over the world on that one. Um, keep my food inside the truck, because anyone who goes in Death Valley knows there's a lot of rodents. So I don't leave that in the back, because they find it. And then, uh, not much really in the front here just the radios and ram mounts oh and then up here i added a dome light like rv style so that kind of when you're in here at night reading maps or books or something 
you uh, have a lot more light than the stock dome light gave. And it's a LED light, so it doesn't draw too much power. So that's the setup for the tablet. Just has my maps on it. And I just charge it off of that right there. Um, it does have a different stereo than the stock one. I put speakers in it too. And then um, the tires are uh, Coopers. I just got these. I had BFGs on it before and I put these on just last week actually. So I don't know much about them yet, but I needed new tires and this is what I got. Um, on the front, I have an air compressor in there. It's a quick air too. Still chugging along pretty good. And I have a quick connect here so I can hook the air line up to it. Um, the truck sits for long periods of time sometimes. So I have a battery tender on it. The motor is pretty much stock. For as old as this truck is, it really doesn't have a lot of miles on it. It kind of just sits around a lot. So, And the motor is not original. When I, I bought this truck brand new, and when it was still kind of new, I accidentally punched a hole in the oil pan and ran it without oil and destroyed the motor. So it's got a new motor in it about... 20,000 miles ago um, But it's nothing really modified on the motor So things that I'd like to do to this truck uh, I'd love to figure out a way to make the air filter not clog up so fast. It's a stock air filter and It seems to clog up with dust really easily So someone told me to try a snorkel and some other things. I don't really know. I got to look into all that um, also I think I might get a alternator that's also a welder. I don't know that I really need that, but it seems kind of cool, so I might get one. That's really all I want to do. It's got plenty of power for doing everything. It's a V6, and it's pretty much stock. Actually, it's stock. There's nothing, nothing special about it. Um, I got a GoPro mount on the front for some reason. And then another thing I'd like to do, probably pretty soon, is a, a coil over conversion for the torsion bars. This still has the torsion bars on it. I mean, they work pretty good, but I think I might want to try a coil over. And uh, that's really it. So. This is the truck. Thanks for watching.